Hey guys, what's up? It's Cam Ninja back again with another video and today we are playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Masters. If you guys didn't know, I'm actually a decently big Yu-Gi-Oh! fan and I've been playing the game for a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I just want to do some test duels just to build up my portfolio. <clears throat> and, like, I need to build my Galaxy Eyes deck, so I'm going to do that while I play this. And I'm going to play a Utopia deck. Or I'm playing the Utopia structure deck, so I guess this will be a little bit of a review of how good the structure deck is. Um, hopefully I get to go first, because I feel like he does better, or this card, this duck does better if I go first and I get more setup. Um, and everyone seems to be able to negate everything I do! Speaking of that, we are going to go first. We are going to do like two duels, considering Yu-Gi-Oh! duels can last from 10 minutes to 10 hours. So, you know, just depends on what the deck the person is playing. And, let's go all right so this starting hand is actually not bad i can summon utopia right off the bat um uh and this is a can equip spell which means that i can summon zs sage face up attack and then use this to summon astraltopia which will let me Actually, should I just special summon this? Uh, you can send one hand to card field. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to special summon Utopia straight off the bat. Um, here we go, number 39, Utopia, and that's a good hand right off there, right off rip. Uh, and we're going to hit him in face of attack position. And yep, we got our boss monster out, or I mean not our boss monster technically, but. We got Utopia out in like one second. And then we're going to, should we activate? Oh yeah, cause it'll give it a thousand attack points. So we'll use that so that way we can some, get the rank up card and we'll activate the rank up card, which will let us rank up our Utopia to a, another Utopia, which means that we can get Utopia Let's go for Ultimate Dragonic Utopia. And then face up attack position. Face up attack position. And we haven't even done our Rising Sun Slash War Trap card yet. We'll set down this and then we'll use we'll use this to get um, the ultimate hmm. We'll use this to get the ultimate shield, just in case. Use this to get the ultimate shield and then we shall activate Rising Sun Slash. Can only be equipped to Utopia and I don't get affected by card effects. And then I will activate this on there. And nope, we won't activate this. And yeah. And then we will activate Deal of Destiny. Just in case. Uh, or not just in case, just to put it as a trap. And we will end our turn. Alright. I think that was a pretty decent turn if you say so myself I got ultimate dragonic utopia Ray in the on the field and let's see what this guy's playing because this is just a straight-up structure deck but it's doing really well all right so he's putting one face down and one face down and is he gonna end his turn off of that he is okay so I think he might be baiting me into an attack each time you destroyed by battle or place one at first key counter max one if you from the extra deck, uh, except during damage set, you can move one of the counters from Best Destiny from your hand and summon someone face up by Utopia. Utopia. Alright, we will activate this effect just in case. Just in case we get destroyed. Or just in case Utopia gets destroyed. And we got Ultimate Shield, which means that we can play like a bitch, pog, and then we can summon it. And when we summon it, we'll activate this effect. So that way I can use this as uh, exceeds equip material and equip it to my Utopia, which means that I get 4,000 defense. Uh, I don't really need 4,000 defense, but I have it now. Um, should I go? F oh yeah, you could. It cannot be destroyed by card effects each time an attack is negated. Place for Rising Sun counter. Uh, equip monster gains 500 for each Rising Sun counter on the card. Which means we're going to attack this guy. And if we don't, we always have a deal of destiny to go back on. And you're getting rammed. 
which sounds oddly gay, but you know. <laughs> but yeah, let's see what this dude does for his next phase. I'm pretty sure he bricked. Either he bricked or he wanted that to happen. So that way he can activate the effect. So he's drawing. Let's see what he does. I actually really like this deck. I don't know if I'm going to make him my main deck, but I really like the Xyz stuff. End phase. I don't know what he's planning, but I feel like he's just bricking over and over and over again. All right, we got a Unicorn Spear. Let's get it. You talk one and equip it. Card gains. Card gains. Monster. All right, I'm going to affect some of this. That way we can start actually beefing up Utopia or Ultimate Dragonic Utopia. And no cancel and we shall now place this down here which means we have 4,000 pack and we won't summon this uh because the life points aren't 4,000 higher than us since we don't do piercing damage we won't really have to we won't really have to have to worry but i don't think he has anything up i wonder what that did i'm sorry i'm not a pro at Yu Gi Oh. i picked up this uh deck like a couple weeks or like a day ago not even a week ago game hasn't been out for a week but like I think it's been out for like a week now but just a day ago so I've straight up just been using it and learning since I got rid of my blue eyes deck so that way I can make uh, so that way I can start building my photon eyes or not my photon eyes or whatever I can't speak today okay so he has the two face downs and a okay, so we got right and now we have ZS is vanished thing means that we will draw one card so we will summon this so that way we can get we can draw another card all I saw was drawing another card and we got another door of destiny so we will try and go for I don't know if I want to try and hit that thing with my vanish sage so I'm going to hit it with my utopia or my utopia and then hit it with Banner Sage. Not unless that's what he wants me to do. Okay, so yeah. I should have hit it with, he seems like he has a bunch of weak monsters on him at the moment. And then I'll hit him directly. Jesus, that was fast, God! Hit it directly. Um, yeah, this is, this is going very smoothly. I feel like I have him on the back foot. I just need to make sure that he doesn't summon a bunch of monsters to the back. Uh, standby phase, main phase one. I feel like he's setting something up. But luckily, okay, so now that we know all his monsters have seemed to have low defense, we will hit him directly with Utopia Ray. Because it doesn't seem like he has anything to stop us, because, like, if he did, he would have. Um, reveal one of your hands, and if you do, CS, CC, okay. So we will activate effect, draw another card. There we go. And then we can it and then against 13 oh my god we're actually just beefing up utopia to just hit him and just destroy him in one go this will be hilariously strong this thing will be hilariously strong once i'm done let's see if he has anything to stop us though and cancel and we'll place him on the field right here which means that he has jesus he has a lot of attacks so let's see, now that I know his monsters have low defenses, we will hit this, he'll probably only have 100 defense, because it seems like all of his monsters will have like 100 dish defense. And that one just up magically had 1,000, and this one, Dark One Face, uh, it cannot be destroyed by battle, attack. Uh, can't be destroyed by battle for this turn, so we're going to end our turn right now. Since I made a bad move expecting all his monsters to have low defense. So that's just my fault. That's literally just my fault. Honestly. I really shouldn't have screwed up that bad, but honestly, I just did. Also, I don't know why I'm clicking my phone. But yeah, let's see what he does.
Alright, he summoned something that would be for Synchro. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Is he about to Synchro something? I think he's about to Synchro something. Alright, alright. Let's see what you do, dude. Let's see what you do. Oh wow, he is synchroing three monsters. I don't think he'll have enough to defeat, uh, straight up beat Dragonic Utopia, but he'll have enough to defeat whatever, you know, not the like about to endeavor something off the field. Hopefully he can. He could be this card to get the activation if you destroy it. Alright, so he's going to attack. Ooh, that is a hard hit. Very hard hit. Alright, let's do this. Draw phase, Astral Strike, I should be able to get some good damage on you, and we will, I'm assuming we're activating the, oh yeah, the effect of uh, rank up, so that way I can have another rank up card, or Spanish, so that way, and now, we can activate Vexel Field, let's go, um, and let's see, everyone's card is activated, Negated. You can uh, defect to the card as possible. Equip material. Oh uh, yeah, negate their effect. All right, so I'm going to battle you. This is going to hurt you like a lot, dude. Get screwed over! Oh my god! Oh my god! I forgot how beefy he was. <laughs> Four thousand defense and five thousand seven hundred attack. God. Dragonic Utopia Ray is a goal. He is really just on, like, he is just doing shit. Okay, so let's see. Target one guard, guard special summon one monster. Okay, so he's gonna summon it back. He's gonna summon it way back. And Shooting Star Dragon, or Stardust Dragon, not Shooting Star. I was gonna say Shooting Star. Turn change, draw phase. All right, let's see what you do, dude. I don't think you can get rid of uh, Dr Ultimate Dragonic. Uh, Utopia yet. All right, let's see what you do. Shard of Breed. Then we'll draw Phase and Phase. Okay. Let's see. Your opponent cannot respond. That um, during your draw phase, place one Shining Draw in your hand. Uh, let's do that. But I can't really activate anything at the moment. All right, here's the Shining Draw. So that way I can, uh, card, and we'll review, let's just reveal Shining Draw. We, we have Shining Draw, just letting you know. <laughs> and then we will, we will summon you onto the field. Do you think we can just end it? I think I can just end it right now. Uh, once per turn, for quick effect you can... And then I can summon as many monsters as I have. I think I could do that. But I don't want to end them. I don't want I actually don't want to end them. Alright, let's do this. Attack him. You're not gonna do any damage. But we will attack you directly. Which means that you I don't think you have anything to deal with, uh uh Utopia. I got I got a good setup. Like I got a really good hand first turn which is really good because I really like this deck and I really didn't want to show off me bricking for a solid five minutes on a video because <laughs> I'm pretty sure this duel has already been going on for a solid I don't know minute now or not minute bro not minute like five at this point and it's just been me dominating because he has nothing to deal with uh, Utopia Ray and he has a face down monster and phase Alright, let's do this. Draw phase. Double or nothing. Okay. So let's see. So, quick effect, you can equip one DS monster from your hand to deck. Where once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, then target. Then target face up cards your opponent controls. Okay. Alright, so let's just fight him. Because, like, if, he, if my gamble is correct, 
and I am a gambling man, that thing below me doesn't have a thousand attack. Yep, and that's game. G, G. <laughs> All right, GG to my opponent, W Lawlet. Uh, that was a really fun duel, mostly because I got to set up and dominate. But yeah, um, let's go on to the next match. All right, let's see who we're fighting. It's another Dark Magician, buddy. It's another Dark Magician, buddy. Are we going first or second? We are going second. Okay, I can work with going second or first. I just need this man to not have 57 negates. That would suck, and I would hate that so very much. Hopefully he doesn't though. Also, I never cut my All right, so we have a rank up. We have a rank up. So that means if we get Utopia out, chicken game with the lowest life points takes no damage once per turn. The person with the lowest life points takes no damage. The turn, you play one, draw one card. Okay, this is going to be a weird ass game. Discard one card from your hand. I have to discard one card from my hand. I'm going. If I had to discard one card, I would discard. Uh. Excellent trust. Then I. Uh, bro, I don't know what game we playing. Does he have to sacrifice another thousand? Yeah, he does. Okay. So we're playing this game where he. What is he doing? What the hell is he doing? What is this? can banish one field spoke what is this guy playing I've never seen a deck like this this man literally is starting out handicapped and he hasn't done anything is this a tune deck I think this is a tune deck which means that I'm going to be constricted very 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 okay Bro, I ain't even gonna cut that. Like, that's just that was just straight up your fault. Hold on, I need one more win until gold, gold five. So let's see if we can get this win so we can rank up to gold. All right, dude. Let's see. Can I get lucky? And I can't. All right. Can you let me go first though? Ah, oh, okay. People love going first, even though I feel like sometimes it's more advantage. It's like most of the time it's more advantageous to go second. I think. Not unless you have like a heavy set play um, deck. Okay, so we got Gaga Ga and Lightning Blade. Zexo Construct and XYZ Reborn. Or Xyz Reborn. It's hard in your hand if you add one of the following. Uh, ZW Monster and ZS Monster and Zexo. And then shuffle it to your deck. Yeah, okay. Hopefully I can play. Oh god, this dude's playing Dark Magician. Oh my lord. Get ready, everyone, for the five-hour turn! Bro, I swear to God, I, s I swear to Jesus Christ himself, if you play for 15 minutes just to summon a Dark Magician, I'm actually going to rage. I'm actually going to rage, because this is all Dark Magician decks do. Like, they spend 15 minutes getting magic Dark Magician out, and having 15 spell cards and trap cards on the field. Like, and then they all somehow manage to banish all spells and traps. Look at him, he has Dark Magic Circle now, which means that he can do whatever the hell he wants. Uh, oh my god. Okay, let's see what you do. Hopefully my freaking Zexal Structure deck can, uh, Soul Servant. Okay, yeah, he's definitely just going to play forever using freaking Dark Magician. Which, I mean, I guess. I mean, it's better than, like, playing something like Monarchs or freaking, uh, what else? What else is a long combo deck? I mean, I don't have face many long combo decks except for my one friend, Gaffire, who's in the OJ2 community, who plays Monarchs. And it's a boring. It's about as boring as I'm playing Night Eye. Which, you know, is boring if you didn't get my drift. But he's dead! Haha! -ha. That was so unfunny. Okay, but yeah. We're just watching, we're just watching this molasses deck of Dark Magician play. Dark Secrets of Magic. Oh, is he fusioning? I think he might be fusioning. Extra deck using monsters from your, what? Monsters from your opponents, what? Oh, I thought you said monsters from your opponent's hand. Nah, it's, he's just about to ritual summon whatever the hell. 
I think he's either ritual summoning or fusion summoning. He is fusioning into the Dark Magician. Which means that I have already lost. There's absolutely nothing I can do. He's got Dark Magician on field one. Uh, I, I got ZY Wing. Alright, let's see what I can do. Alright, let's activate... Let's activate the effect of Zexo Construct. Reveal the card in my hand. That is, uh, Xyz Reborn. Reveal that. And then add one card from my hand, or from my deck. And I will add ZS Sage. Which will let me... Which will let me... If it will let me play the game and he's activating effect and then I will activate I will special summon him which will let me summon Gaga -ga -ga magician which will let me exceed summon we exceed summoning baby we're exceed summoning for utopia and then, getting rid of both of these cards, to summon a face-up Utopia. But we're not done yet! At least, yeah, we're not, we're not done yet. And then, we will finally activate the effect of Rank Up Magic Zexel. Or Rank Up uh, Magic Zexel, yeah, I got it right, huh? Confirm that it is Utopia who are we are trying to get, and then summon... Should we ever summon Halberd? Because he has more attack. Um, no, let's summon Dragonic because I believe in him. I believe in him. We have to go with the flow, you know? <laughs> and then we got Utopia Ray summoning him on the field, which means that we will get... Which card will we get? And then it will get this card from my deck. And then it will be right there. And then... It will gain 100 attack by activating the effect of this. Equip it to you. And then, actually no, I don't want to activate this effect because I might screw something up. Activate your effect. And then, activate the effect of this. So that way, we can blow up this monster right here. And then, which means we will get how many attack points? 4,000, hey, 4,500, which means that we will, do you have any graveyard effect? Um, uh, except during, you can draw one card, quick play, you can activate the turn, card is destroyed, you can both, and then I will battle, like, directly just hit you, like, right in the face. I mean, I can hit you for more damage, but I feel like you would be more threatening, honestly. I feel like... I hit you for res I hit you for attention, but I hit you for results. Um, I'll hit you. They're going to the graveyard, buddy. Oh my God, 1,700! Jesus Christ! And then he'll activate the effect to get it into to summon either a dark magician or a dark magician. The target one. And banish it, you can use. Oh my god, it's good. He, is he going to banish one of my monsters in the next turn? Oh my god, okay. And then he has a Dark Magician on the field. And then he has a Dark Magician girl on the field. And yeah, and then she gains attack for all the Dark Magician on the field. Alright, let's see what you're doing. Let's see what you do. You're activating Dark Magic Circle, right? Because I. Because if I had Xyz Reborn, which I don't think I have anymore, unfortunately. I should have called that. Alright, so... Does, does that count as a spell card? I, do they? Huh. I guess not. Alright. Alright. Let's see what you do. Are you ending your turn? Because it seems like you're kind of stumped, buddy. Since you haven't activated Dark Magic uh, Circle, which means you probably can activate it. Which means you're drawing two cards. Which means, what else are you doing? What else are you doing? You're setting one down. You're setting it. You're putting down a face down. I'm sorry, I need to. 
But, yeah, um, I need to see what he's doing, because Dark Magician is a lie on setup, because the boss monsters are essentially just bricks. Um, but Utopia Ray is just dominating this entire field. And then he will summon... What is that? Your tribute? Oh, another Dark Magician, okay. Which means he won't take as... I nearly as much damage. I feel like if you kept those two on the bit, you might have more use. And there we go. Now unless I can activate. Wait, can I activate something? Chain. What am I doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, second like card equipped to this monster. Uh, I think there's a card that monsters effect is negated. No monsters. Um, when this card is about to be sent to the graveyard because you put monsters to way to the back. And then right here. And I think it'll just get rid of me, yeah. Unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. I'm going to get hit for like a lot of damage. I feel like someone was calling me. But huh. It's just here, thanks. He is going to hit me for a lot of damage. Hopefully I have some graveyard effects. And Dragonic is in the graveyard, which means I'm probably going to lose this. I don't know. Is someone calling me? Huh. I feel like whenever I put this headphone back on, someone will say my name. Alright, Ebon Illusion Magician. Alright. Let's see what you're doing. Cause I can't really get I can't get rid of banished monsters or get back banished. Wow, I'm already losing and I just got hit once. Wow. I think I lost this. <laughs> Cause like, I had my entire hand and then he used Dark Magic Circle once. <laughs> Hilarious. I love this game sometimes. Cause I don't think I will be able to draw anything that can uh, do this. Just get me out of here. All right. I don't even think I can use Zexal Cannibal cause I need a card. Yeah, I need a card. I can't do anything. So I'm just going to end. Yeah, I think I just straight up, I straight up got my monster on the field. He uses Dark Magician Circle once and just wipes the board. Oh my god. Or, I mean, he doesn't wipe the board, but he got rid of it. I was thinking that I could have possibly done something. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm just straight up dead here. Yeah, I'm just dead here. I can't do anything about this. I legitimately can't do anything about this. Yep. Yeah, I like if I need to, I need to draw into the heart of the cards for this. Like he didn't even summon a monster. He summoned a monster on my turn. That's how Yu-Gi-Oh works, baby. This is how the mafia works. <laughs> I mean, I'm dead either way. Yeah, he's straight up killing me with this. He straight up killed me with this. Like, I set up my entire Utopia Ray. Boom, Dark Magic Circle. That's just how it goes. Unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Also, my nose has been funny lately. Yeah, I'm just straight up dead. Straight up dead, yeah. Yeah, I straight up here. Uh, that's very unfortunate. I had it. I literally had it, and then he Dark Magic Circle me. But yeah, let's get on to the next match. This will probably be the final video for today, or final episode for today. Oh, we're going first. We are going first. Holy crap. Oh crap, I dropped my controller. Uh, rip, 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 rip. <laughs> I dropped my controller. Oh, so if you're the creaking, yes, I am sitting on the gamer bed. Um, it's a little meme on my channel at this point. That, because I don't sit on the regular ground. I just sit on my gamer bed. Alright, so, what are we doing here? You are... When Utopia is summoned, you can pay. I don't really need Track one Utopia, you control. You track one face like Utopia. Hmm. This is... When no one can control from this on target. I think we're going to start playing slow with this. Because, like, I don't think I can do anything. Uh... Monster about to kill the monster destroyed. Um, you can track one face like Utopia Ray. Um, yeah, I don't think I can do anything with this right now so I will set a monster face down defense 
and set... I'll just set everything so I can start anything. End turn. Let's see what you do. Alright, so, let's see. Are you playing Blue Eyes? Please don't be playing Blue Eyes, because we'll, we will legitimately sit here all day if we're playing Blue Eyes, and the first thing you summon is... You are summoning this guy, which means you are going to summon another monster. If it is a monster. Most of my deck is monsters. I feel like Marauding Captain would be really good for, uh... So, oh, this is a Silent Swordsman deck. Alright, let's see what you else you do. I, do I have enough defense to stop him? If I can, if he doesn't boost his attack. Uh, where you kind of this card. Um... Return during the standby phase, the card gains 500 attack. Okay. End phase. Okay. Does this mean he'll let me summon Utopia? I think this means that Utopia is on the horizon. Which is really cool. So, first off, we will. Okay. 500. Okay, so first off, we will activate. Just to see what he does, I will activate change tactics. Is it linking? Chain, chain. Does he get 500 more for for uh, my monster? Or for my spell? Probably not. Okay, so he just destroys it. Wait. Yeah, so he just straight up destroys it. Okay, which means that he doesn't have any get rid of monster effects. Which means that I can summon uh, Go 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 Golem in attack mode. Hopefully. Maybe, and then flip summon Osher Strike, and succeed summon to Utopia. Use these two for Xyz, and special summon. I can't normal summon anything at the moment, because I didn't have the setup to do it earlier. Um, so I guess we'll just start, we'll just play straight up Utopia right now does this have uh once return the quick monster cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects it's a face up okay, so when you gain 1300 attack yep there we go and then it'll activate that and i will be able to gain a bunch of attack points so just for shits and giggles let's see if we can hit this thing all right attack Uh no. Just hit it. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Okay. So it won't be destroyed, but it'll stay there. Which means that it, it's, it's still a meat it's still a beat stick! It is still a beat stick! It's still there! I just means I can hit it again! Bro, they really think just because I can't destroy the monster doesn't mean you won't get hurt. <laughs> like, it's a face-up attack monster, so you're going to take some damage from that. Whether you like it or not. Which means you're gaining another 500. It'll take you a little bit before you actually take, before you actually do anything. I can't get rid of spells or traps at the moment. Which means that I, I have to get rid of this eventually. Or it'll be, it'll spiral out of control and get stronger than me. End phase. Okay, so I'm going to hit it again. Hopefully I can keep hitting it until it just, until he dies. Alright, so I will activate or what is he activating? Yeah. So 2,500, okay. So he's now at 2,500. Target one control. I don't so I don't have Utopia Ray at the moment. And then I will activate it with Rising Sun Flash, which means you get Rising Sun Flash! Which means that Tokyo Ray plays some Rising Sun counter on it. Are you getting rid of it? Control. Oh, that's a rip. That's a big rip. That's a big rip, dude. Uh, let's attack you again. Straight up. Because after this, you won't. Uh, no, just hit it. Again. He won't be taking... I think he needs, like, two more. 
He needs like two more buffs before he actually... He's spiraling out of control and I can't get rid of it. I don't... I don't think I have anything to stop it because I don't think I have any negate. I think he's just relying on this to spiral out of control. Because I can't destroy it, and it's in defense mode now. I don't know why it's in defense mode. But, that'll be fine by me. I just won't take damage. Is he just trying to passively gain damage or stuff? Or passively gain attack while you're just sitting there? Yeah, because he's going to now gain more attack. Huh. 3500 which means after this I can't when this card is one from your graveyard with the gates of effects uh, I don't have utopia ray I can't use utopia ray uh, as each gives it you can also declare one attack for the rest of the turn when this launcher destroyed so let me summon this Summon it. And then I don't think it has an effect on it. Does it? Or can I can't activate an effect? So I'm going to be cautious. Because I think that even if I battle it now, I won't be able to destroy it. Because he'll activate uh this card, Noble Arms of Destiny. He'll activate that and I can't destroy it. And then he that's not going to be enough definitely not going to be enough. Spike shield with Shane. Oh, wow. He actually is just stronger than me now. Wow! How did he... Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. Main phase two. We're just going in defense mode, aren't we? We're just... I can't. I can't. I can't go in defense. Oh, my God. Wow. He just sat there and spiraled out of control. Wow. Okay. Okay, let's see what you do. Because he can flip that attack mode to destroy Utopia. Alright. Because I think he can just kill me. He can kill it now. Yeah, he can just flip that attack mode. Yeah, he's going to flip it in attack mode. Either destroy one, this one, or... He's going to get Silent Swordsman on me. Which means that he's going to do enough... He's going to destroy Utopia. No, he's not. Wait, I can negate the attack. Uh, I'm not going to negate it yet. I'm going to let him hit. Actually, no, I shouldn't let him get in my Utopia. Detach one of my materials. And then he won't be able to attack. Can I detach? I'll let him. That hit me. I'll let that hit me, because that'll just be 400 damage. Now, if I can hit him hard enough, I will just straight up... If I can somehow manage to get more attack on my, uh... Enough attack on my Utopia, I think I can kill him. Yeah, I think I can straight up kill him if I get enough attack. Target one with Graveyard Special Summon it in defense position. I think I can just... Slam that monster with 1,000 attack points and kill it, and we'll have to deal with the other ones. Now, unless I can rank up, which I don't think I want to, because I don't know if that gets rid of the equipped that I got from a uh, the from Utopia in the first place. Zexel Field, which means that you can your opponent's actually wants a card that affects during draw phase. You can. Alright, so I will activate Zexel Field. And now... There we go. Oh, yeah, he can destroy it. Wait, can't he not activate anything in result? Okay, of course he can. And we're gone. Okay. He just has so much! Alright, I'll summon this. And can I activate its effect? No, I can't. Of course I can't. Because I swear it said, if you equip it to Utopia... Was that the wrong card? No, it wasn't. 
So, what we're gonna do is that we're going to battle. And I can negate you one more time. And I'm going to hit you. What? Nani? Okay, no, 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 no. Yu-Gi-Oh bullshit. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Bye.